Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today we're checking out Project LLL, a new game in development, it looks like by NCSoft. And it looks to be a looter shooter, Destiny, Warframe styled game, which is why we're taking a look. We have the first Ascendant next year. Things have gone better recently. Okay, okay, thank you for saving our world. Thank you for your service. So, like, already, we get a good look at protagonist bro right here, right? Like, not too bad. He's just walking around, and he already looks like he's decked out in, uh, like, hunter gear. He looks like, <laughs> looks like a Destiny character. Thorson, under Imperial order, you are to return to the capital. Don't worry, I'll be the subtitles. Armor Matrix Online. Serial number invalid. Or valid. I don't know. Sanctum underway. Okay. Oh, dude, there's our little Kubro, but it's a it's a robo dog right there. So there's a there's a mech. So it's already giving us like a very Destiny aesthetic vibes with like maybe division, very Warframey. Destination set, Constant. Ooh. Teleportation system ready. Let's go to Constantinople. So this looks like your little ship, where you teleport anywhere you need. Signal interference detected during transmission. Oh, okay. Underground structure. Depths 23. Make your way above ground. Restore communications. Right? Like, this looks really cool, to be fair. Looks like another looter shooter game that we have seen before, right? Dude's trying to be stealthy. Oh, yeah. Looks very Division mixed with futuristic Warframe Destiny. Those look like aliens, right? So, th th those aren't humans. Well, at least, it doesn't look like it's a human, okay? So, I want to look at this little gear wheel. You have a t ton of ammo, right? Like, tons of ammo. 777. It's actually a really cool UI. I like the, uh, I like the compact look of it. Because I like the minimalism of it, you know? There's not, like, shit everywhere. It looks really cool. And then you have some, looks like abilities there. Right, a little scanner can show you who's ally, who's enemy. Okay, one ally there. I feel like, oh, there's more allies. I feel like this is going to be rough, but hey, we'll see. We'll see. They're shooting up in the air, I think. Also, actual gameplay of the development build. So, he's just going right past it. Can't deal with that. Okay, so you can melee too. It's not shocking. You can tank a suicide bomber. Good to know. Dude, your hunter gear is too strong. Holy shit. Okay, so you're... You're Spaceman Joe. It looks really nice though. But it, it's, it's pretty much like uh, the Division, right? Like, this looks more Division Destiny. With some Warframe aspects thrown in there. But, like, not anything too uncommon, right? It's like a lot of looter shooters. Are, are those Groots? Like, those straight up look like... It's hard to see the enemies, but it looks like a Groot. Look, look at him. It looks like a tree man. Like, you see that little head... Okay. Okay, so that's your rocket pack cooldown. Okay, so maybe your kit's a little stronger. You do have some abilities. Okay, okay. I wonder how this game will handle the entire... Because, like, this is an open-world MMO-type game. I sh don't know if I should mention that. I want to pause it right now to actually bring that up. If you look at the tags, gameplay trailer, open-world, MMO, shooter, official trailer, okay? Like, that's... It's another looter shooter that we're gonna check out so hey as always if you know you're interested like sub favorite check out youtube twitch and i have a epic game store creator code pupsker so cheers so if you buy anything there it helps emergency communications network access restored okay situation code one old ones communication security breach detected nice nice okay there's stealth bombers so this is like more near future probably 
definitely more near future compared to like Warframe. Okay. It looks like there might be like frame drops here to be honest. It looks like a little weird. But that's okay. Look at that. I don't know how people are going to think about this one. It looks like a pretty interesting game, right? They look like Groots. Those look like, those tree men, they look like Groots. Okay. This is probably going to be the most important thing I talk about this entire trailer. I believe there's a sweet, like, thing at the end, so pretty excited about that. Avoid suicide bombers. Yeah, it looks like you're not so unique here. Or... Oh. Okay, no, the, your, your cannon, like, your rocket cannon is slightly OP. It looks like your abilities are actually really good in this game. Yeah, your abilities and equipment are really good. You just popped up a secondary menu on the left. I don't know why, but okay. Don't you just love it when enemies hide behind giant flammable explosive uh, containers? <laughs> okay, it just looks goofy, but I love it. No, this looks like another interesting looter shooter. Because next year we also have uh, the first Descendant that we'll play around with for a long time. And that looks pretty fun, so... Hey, I'm pretty excited about that. It's going to be a big, interesting year. Look at all the enemies. Oh, did he just turn on aimbot? Yeah, he did. He just turned on Soldier 76 aimbot. Dude, legit, uh... Yeah, he has aimbot. Okay. Rawr. So it looks like this gameplay uh, demo is just like a chaotic, hectic mess. It looks really cool though. Hostile combat mech detected. Oh, he's turning on his aimbot. Or maybe it's also a shield, who knows. <laughs> so he's swamping out. Okay, you can swamp out your uh, stuff mid-combat too. Like he just swapped out his aimbot thing for something else. That's what that secondary menu is popping up does. Okay. Oh, looks like he's going to grab whatever that terrifying item is. The god brain. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Of course it's a booby trap, but nothing apparently bad at all. Nothing you can't avoid by casually jumping out the window, of course. Oh, is he going to commandeer the mech? Yeah, he is. Mine. I'm all for mech stealing. I like thieving mechs. I like that, like, in theory, you just take over the mech and now your, your allies are like, Okay, no, ally mech now, we're good. Did he, is he teabagging the enemies? I'm pretty sure he just teabagged them. Pretty sure. If we turn back the camera, I think he teabagged the enemies here. Right? Just a little, little teabag, right? Just a little, little, little teabag, just like, buh, 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 buh. Right? He's just teabagging them. What a disrespectful mech. My god. Didn't think I'd see it in this game. So what does everyone think about the game so far? Obviously this does look like an early development build. It looks like a cool game. It looks like it'd be fun to play. I don't know if it would uh like if it has a full systems in like set if it's all in place for a full good MMO. So we'll have to wait and see about that, but it looks like a very interesting gameplay demo. And I'm all for giving it a shot. All for it. Hostile combat, machine incoming. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh Jesus. Okay, apparently their max better. Oh, never mind. Oh god, it's a mech off. They're mecking each other. One's gonna mech first. Who's gonna. Oh, enemy mech one. Now we gotta abandon the Ravager. I assume he can just jump out, yeah. Like, he's not gonna die, die. Just, you know, now he just has to, oh. Oh no, he has an AOE defensive ground pound. Love it. 
And now it's a shield. Oh, gotcha. Damn, these dudes have a lot of abilities. Oh! What? So, like, biblically accurate angel arms popping out. What the... Okay. Well, they know how to do a teaser. It's like... A good teaser, but that's a uh, project LLL. Looks like the first gameplay trailer there. That's why everyone's uh making a big hype about it. I thought I saw it first time yesterday, watching like news game videos. So there we go. And there's also interview with the project leader. Check out video developers interview. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff like that. We can quickly take a look at this. A little featured world, post-apocalyptic shoal, technology advanced without limitations, will that mean humans also change? Question is, what if uh, multiple groups that sparkling different... Okay, so everyone's trying to take over the world. Oh! Technical progress meet on a single stage. Okay, so this is gonna be really nice. This is a future world, very reminiscent of Warframe Destiny. More futuristic than The Division, for sure. For sure. It looks really nice. I don't think we're gonna... You can also enjoy LLL as an online game. This features PvE and PvP content. Cool, 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 cool. Seamless open world, variety of vehicles, robos, automobiles, helicopters. Yeah, I'm very interested. Uh, it looks cool, okay. But most looter shooters look pretty cool and are fun to play for a bit. They have a lot of stuff to do. Well, that'd be nice. Look at all those guns. So, I don't think I'm gonna get a ton out of this interview. Just because, like, we've seen a lot of looter shooters before. Hey, it looks really nice. But I am interested in it. Right. I'm very much interested in it. So... I guess we'll follow the development of this game if anything interesting pops up, but this is Project LLL. New looter shooter, rivaling Warframe, rivaling Destiny, <gasps> who knows, right? Like, uh, But it looks like it'll be another fun game, so I'm always down for new looter shooters to come out. Whether they stand the test of time or die off in a year, who knows? But this one looks pretty cool, and since it's online, PvP, PvE, yeah, look like, uh, looks like it's a, gonna be a good fun Warframe Destiny vs. Ascendant alternative. So, let me know what y'all think. Sub, like, check out any other videos if you want. Uh, uh, but that is all for today, and I will see you next time. Peace.